Hello ladies, welcome to the Overthrow Disc Golf YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Real quick, I've got to deal with the guys who have undoubtedly clicked on this video. So gentlemen, perhaps you're watching out of a good spirit and you want to help these ladies. Let me just give you a few quick tips here. One, uh, you're not there to teach them form. Just let them play the game. Two, what you can do is set them up with the right equipment. So perhaps you buy some sweet new plastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, uh, Mikey and I would carry extra discs in our bag to give out to uh, people who look like, okay, they're having a fun time, but man, if they just had like, we used to do this with Wombat 3s. Some of our personal favorites, and then a wild card, so my wife kind of hucks it, so she loves the stag, and we've only got two of these moonshine ones left. Mikey's wife, uh, you know, diamonds, girl's best friend. <laughs> no exception there. Um, and then I think wild card here, maybe this sparkle heat got enough stability. It's kind of like in the middle. That's what you can do, guys. Now, the reason that I'm making this video is because I was coaching one of my female students and she said, you need to make a video on that. So here it is, here's the video. Ladies, what you have to consider when doing your form versus something that some guys don't even have to think about is how you're getting the disc through the pocket, right? Because some of you ladies have a bit of a chest. So that's going to affect how close you can pull the disc to your body. Um, so if you have a little bit of a larger chest, you can't just get through here with the disc totally flat in a high pocket, right? You, you can't get through here clean. I think that's pretty clear. So here are a couple things that you can look at doing if your chest is getting in the way. Okay, so first option is instead of pulling the disc through flat like this, you can tilt the disc like this. So we bring it through here and it's creating a little bit more space um, for the disc to get close to your body as it comes through, okay? Now if you pull it through like this, that means at the end you're gonna have to supinate or flip your palm up at the end to get this thing back to a reasonable nose and release angle. That's option one, is come through here and have the disc down so that you can get it closer to your body instead of having to go around here, right? Um, option two is you can kind of change the slot that you're pulling through. So you can go below or you can go above. Now these are kind of unorthodox, but we've got males on tour like Matty O, for example. He's up here, right? And we've got other people who come through a little bit lower. So that's kind of option two. Option three, and I think it's a good option, is to adopt more of a like hyzer swing form, more Katrina Allen-esque form, right? Where you kind of have your swing down on this loopy lower arc here. And you're gonna end up throwing more with a hyzer release angle, totally fine, and you'll just throw, flip your plastic. Plenty of males on tour do the same thing where they've got this kind of hyzer form. It was actually a predominant form for a while, um, and they just throw flippier stuff like uh, uh, Kevin Jones. So it's really important that you figure out how to work the disc forward correctly instead of going around because then you're gonna get this really like spinny form that you end up seeing a lot of ladies with, especially ladies who've got their chest in the way, right? Now, um, if you don't have quite a big of a chest, obviously you can go through here, right? And so you get the option to do whatever you want. Ladies, I hope that this helps give you some direction. Uh, it's been helpful for a lot of my female students and I don't think that there's a video out there because, I don't know, I guess it's kind of awkward to talk about. So for me, it's just kind of matter of factual, it's like, you've got to work around it, right? So you need the info. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you are interested in private lessons, we've got a link in the description for our Patreon. So I'll see some of you there. Peace.